Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and one second, this is my pot. If you've been watching my socials for the month of April and the month of May, you can see that I have been extremely busy. And today we are going to be focusing on one of those recipes Bahamians absolutely love because it is inexpensive, it's cheap, it's accessible, and you can dress it up. And we're going to be doing it with conch broth. What is the meal? Ramen noodles. In my childhood, when they first came on the scene, I can tell you they were like 15, maybe 20 cents, 33 cents. Now everybody has like these really, really fantastic recipes for different types of ramen that you pay a lot of money for. And it really is because of the broth that they use with the ramen. We're talking about slow cook for hours and hours and hours on end until it is nice and clear with the best ingredients. Which means that today's sponsor is the best option for a quick broth and your ramen. Conk broth. Today, we're going to be using conch broth to make ourselves a flavorful ramen using things that I would have meal prepped because that's how I manage my schedule. This is going to be very quick, or as quick as you can make it, and it's going to be very delicious. And you cut out the hours and hours and hours of making your own personal broth when you use conch broth. You all ready? Let's get started. You can make your ramen however you want, but mine is gonna have some bok choy that I'm going to sear just so that it can get that delicious brown on it. And I'm using a little bit of sesame oil. And this is going to make that just taste very, very um, oriental inspired. I'm also gonna take some mushrooms and I'm going to saute them in some garlic and some butter. And for crunch, I'm gonna do some cucumbers with rice wine vinegar and soy sauce. And I'm gonna let them steep for maybe about five or 10 minutes. I'm gonna cook this steak, which I marinated with a bit of salt and rosemary salt. Um, and I seared it until it was medium. And I have boiled eggs. Now listen, they're supposed to be runny, but mine ended up being a bit more than that. And now, let me just tell you something about ramen. Ramen noodles are very carbohydrate dense and when you use a little pack with it, it is very salty. So we're gonna cut down on some of that salt. I'm using sesame oil, some minced ginger, minced garlic, and I'm also going to put some soy sauce. And this is where the salt comes in. And that's why I am still using the salt-free version of the Fin de Roots conch broth because I can control my sodium intake enjoy the intense flavor enhancement. It's all natural and of course, it's 100% Bahamian made in Grand Bahama and it can last up to six months refrigerated unopened. How amazing is that? And now it's time to plate it. So let's talk about plating. When you plate this, you can add anything you want. So I added a few extra things. I'm gonna put my ramen in here and I cooked them, you know, until it was still a bit firm because I like mine firm. I'm adding the bok choy and now I'm gonna add that steak and you can use any protein you want. Believe it or not, I've seen people use tofu, but here I'm adding those mushrooms that I cooked a bit earlier. Again, the cucumbers, the eggs, and instead of just making a regular dish, I'm making something that is delicious. I have some radishes and I got some pickled onions from the Cheesecake Diva. She has a bistro. I'm adding some carrots. And now here's the conch broth with all of those extra elements. And trust me when I say, you can get all of this deliciousness and you can decide how you want your ramen to taste. And that's exactly what I did. Here we go, guys. I don't want to dip it too much because obviously there's broth in here. But not only can you get a very balanced meal with all your proteins, all your carbs, all your veggies in, but you also get to support a small Bahamian business, which is Finder Roots, who produces conch broth right out of Grand Bahama. And so the next time you're thinking of making yourself a bowl of 
noodles, consider making it a lot more nutritious, a lot less salty, and a whole lot more Bahamian friendly. And when I say that, I mean you can purchase your eggs from the farmer's market, the bok choy, the carrots, the mushrooms from local vendors, and of course you can support a Bahamian business, Finder Roots, which produces conch broth, which is based in Grand Bahama. I'm going to be putting the places where you can buy conch broth right there and of course I'm hoping that you enjoy your noodles because it's cool enough now for me to eat so I, I'm gonna eat it now okay until next time don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot okay bye I can be honest you know I really never been a noodle person Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. If it looks like this, I'll eat it.